Okay, what I'm doing today is I have that little tiny antenna, the AX1, that I've been talking so much about. And I'm going to put it to another test. The goal is to make two contacts, CW, or maybe a sign, sign bad, I'm not sure. And I've got everything in that bag there, and that that's a camera tripod. I'm going to give it a good chance. I'm going to get it up high, as high as possible. And instead of just putting it on the ground, why not get it up a little bit higher? I can carry that thing. Uh, it's real easy to deploy a, I think that's an 8 or 9 foot camera tripod. came with one of my lights. Anyway, I've got, looks like it might rain possibly. And that's kind of a threat, so what I wanted to do was a hike. I really, guys, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm doing a lot of impromptu stuff. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to go. Okay, I'm wearing this ridiculous safari outfit, and I'm going to have a boonie on later. But the reason is because I'm taking full precautions against mosquitoes. That way I'm not driven out of anywhere I go. I plan on being in the deep woods. I plan on doing a little hiking, maybe at least a mile or two or three. I'm not out there to hike, though. I'm out there to make a contact. And so I've got the Allocraft KX2. I thought about bringing the mountain topper, but then I thought I want to... I want to make sure that this little antenna is successful again with 10 watts and I don't have to worry about an antenna tuner and all that stuff. Uh, so the KX2 has one inside of it and I just didn't want to worry until later. I'll challenge myself with the mountain top work later. But right now I want the 10 watts in the internal tuner and a higher probability of success. I have it in one of those Pelican cases inside of there so in case it does rain and I get soaked my equipment should be dry. I'll show you all of that later. I'm going to take a quick look at radar scope and see what's going on in the weather. But let's do a hike. Um, okay, so this safari outfit, it, I feel silly in this thing. I, this shirt, this shirt is oversized and I know that, but I, I kind of like a floppy shirt. It kind of keeps the, uh, the, the, some space, some air between me and the, and the material and mosquitoes. I actually have sprayed all of this stuff with permethrin. I sprayed it and it's dried. And I've got some DEET style mosquito spray. And I have the, I know it's silly, but I'm, I'm not gonna sit there still trying to do radio while I'm getting tagged by mosquitoes. I also have that thermos cell. So I've got three layers of protection. Uh, the clothes should do it, but you know, I like to, I'm testing everything. This is a test. You think, why are you doing that? Why are you? It's a test. I'm testing. I'm testing things. Why do you do that? You don't need all that. Yeah, I know. It's a test. Is it going to work? What's this work? I learn so much when I do this. So uh, try not to read too much. So many, so many people that make these comments, they read too much into the videos. They think, why are you doing that? It's because, well, it's because I just want to see what it works. Right now, I'm really hot. <laughs> this shirt is breathable, though. It's got these little holes all over. It's got a, a slit in the back. It's really breathable, so when the air is blowing through, you can feel it come up to your back. It's got a little netting in there. It's really nice. Columbia shirt. Deet. Okay, so now I don't usually when I when I run this trail I used to run it a lot. I was a lot skinnier then because <laughs> I was running. But I would come out here and wear just shorts and shirt just like you saw those people. Normally I'd wear that, but I am doing something different. I am sitting still in these woods and I am dressed for the, the occasion because I do not want to have to get chased out of there after I set everything up. Okay, so I don't think there's any point in using that thermosel while you're walking because it's a gas. And the gas has to sit still, kind of create a bubble around you. If and if that if it was windy, it would blow that bubble away also. So I'm not gonna use a thermosel. Usually if you if you're running or moving, biking, you're moving where there's wind, of course mosquitoes don't get you generally. It's when you sit still is when they swarm. Um, so, don't feel like I need the thermosel yet until I park. So we're at about, a, we're gonna get about a mile, mile and a half down, find a good spot to operate and hopefully operate. I forgot to bring a towel. I forgot to bring a towel to sit on. Or a chair. 
At least I don't have to carry it. But good exercise, man. I always like to keep a good good pace. Every time you stop, it, it adds up a lot more than you think it does. Last time I was here about three months ago, it was like you could see so far because oh, there was no leaves here. It's really interesting to go along this trail during the four seasons. It changes so much. And hiking, <laughs> hiking ability changes a lot too. The unfortunate thing about this trail is that a lot of people have discovered it. <sighs> 11 years ago when I moved here, pretty much no one would come here, hardly anyone. You'd never see anyone out here. And then they started doing races and stuff and promoting it. And now you can almost hardly park here. It's very disappointing. Uh, so you just think, well, I got this little secret awesome spot, right? And then it gets publicized and it becomes an overcrowded, ugly spot. And before you know it, they're gonna charge admission to it. The government's gonna figure out, hey, we can make a bunch of money. Yeah, that's a mosquito nest. <laughs> I haven't seen any yet, but they're here. Just keep moving. I was gonna talk about how sometimes even when I was out here running and I had no spray on at all, this type of help hat helps a lot more than any kind of other. For some reason, this type of ridge, bugs, bugs find it hard to get under here, I think. We also have this uh, horsefly type and they will harass you hard time on this core on this course if you're running that sometimes they'll chase you I've been chased up to quarter mile by horse flies that just they just keep circling and circling I'd run faster and faster all of a sudden zoom zoom but this type of hat like this a boonie hat kind of ugly but it works it works pretty well and I sprayed that deet on it also so this couple passed me they were wearing just shorts and t-shirt pretty much and I said how are the mosquitoes for you? He goes, don't worry, we have DEET. Something like that, he goes, we're okay, we have DEET. So unless they bathe themselves on their skin with that stuff, they are getting destroyed. And I know they are because it's not enough just to have DEET on, you have to cover your skin. Here, sorry to talk about mosquitoes, but that's the issue. You can see them flying around the mosquitoes, see? Bugger everywhere, man. Now I'm going parallel with the river. Sorry, river. Just hoping to find a rock like that to operate off of. Down here a little ways. Just a little, a little bit off the trail. Normally, the Katy Trail is down there. The river is so high that it's covered it and it's just above. If you were to go down there, there'd be no trail. You'd just be water. It's way, way high right now because of all the flooding. I think I'll set up on that rock right there. It's good enough. First thing I gotta do is kind of settle down because I'm kind of like, oh, I'm in a hurry, you know. I just got here, I need to relax a little bit and just <sighs> settle down. Okay, right away, all you do with this, it's got a butane tank, it's got a blue thing in here, and I've got extras. All you do is you turn it on, then you hit the button. Make sure it's on. There's a little light in there to show you that it's on, and I'm gonna put it where I'm gonna operate. So you know this is really tough. There, mosquitoes are just. As soon as I went over there, they were on the leaves and just went everywhere. Just went right in front of the camera. I'm super sweaty. This is hard operations, guys. This is hard. It's just hard conditions. There's no wind at all. If there was a little wind, I could dry out, but I'm just so. Is it gonna work? Okay. I am probably 100, 150 feet up. I am deployed. 
pretty much I'm going to raise this up and see how high I can go and I'm going to operate down there standing make a lot of noise so there's no snakes so I don't, whoa slick alright I need some new shoes I've worn these out so damn it oh my god I'm not standing on that anymore <laughs> okay so we have the antenna I'm going to raise it up a little bit more I decided on the first test I'm going to use the counterpoise that came with it and I'm going horizontal instead of just laying on the ground for now I'm going horizontal I'm going to give this a test before I pull out the super antenna oh, mosquito in my eye um, before I pull out the super antenna counterpoise First one calling CQ right off the bat. I'm gonna use it. Did it, man. First, first call. First CQ. I think he's writing me down. Fourteen oh five nine. I have a number. I think he asked for a number. First call. First one, first one. He heard me perfectly. I got a, I think I got a 529 though. And I had to send it a couple times, and he was really hard to understand. He's using straight key. I think he was asking me for my straight key number, but I'm not using a straight key number. Oh my god. This is not comfortable. I'm on uneven ground here. Boy, if you can do this, you can do anything. Good setup. I just wish I wasn't dripping sweat. I wish I brought a towel. I'm gonna try calling CQ now. Man, that's so loud.
There's ants and spiders crawling all over here. Four three nine. Michigan. One three nine five T. I don't know what number that is. Alright, I made a contact with K8JD, I don't know where he is, uh, M Michigan I think. I'm really, really happy. So once again, I made two contacts, and I didn't. I actually just tried for those two, pretty much. The only other one I tried for, some other guy stomped me. So I've got the X1 there, just on a. This is a camera type mount. I just want to get as high as possible off of 150 foot above the river down there. And I've got a counterpoise going over that way. So the mosquito thing. It's about. There's a little bit of smoke coming. I would say it works. 90% I saw some mosquitoes kind of wandering into this area it's not gonna get rid of all of them but it definitely helped that's the way I see it 
I haven't been bitten once. <laughs> I've got some wood here. <laughs> I haven't been bitten once. And, uh, I'm, but I'm, I'm fully clothed. I've got deep and that, but the mosquitoes are everywhere. All right. A 529, a 529, a, four, three, a 529 and a 439. It's really hard to write here. My handwriting is basically non-existent. Uh, super uncomfortable. Ne really challenging, but this is the kind of stuff I like to do. Challenge myself. I'm impressed with this antenna. I'm getting not great signal reports, but it's going to take me three minutes to set this up. No trees, no snags. So the problem with a that uh, trail friendly is it's a 41 foot and that means it would have to go over there somewhere and how do you throw it over there without hitting that branch and that branch how do you throw it over there without hitting that and that how do you throw it how do, 41 feet is really hard to put up that's why it works in some situations but it's just too thick here and that's my whole point even if I had my slingshot and I shot it way up there it would get caught on all those branches. It would be a huge mess. It's just too thick here to use. And that's why something like this is really good and I'm really happy with it. I'm making contacts off this little thing. It's easy to put up. I'm super excited. I'm super happy. And I'm nowhere near done. This is just, this is just one of many. station complete my my right leg is like shaky because I was standing on it so hard now it's all tired yeah that's a problem <laughs> all right I'm on the trail now okay so what I think is don't let mosquitoes stop you don't let the heat stop you you can get used to it just tough it out the most effective thing you can have against mosquitoes is clothing. Number one. Number two is DEET. And number three would be the thermocell. All three of them working together is a great combination. I'm testing them all. I don't need all three. Probably DEET and this is good enough. Alright, I am breathing hard, but I'm going up and down hills. If you don't know that, go out and do it and see if you're not breathing hard. The landscape. Okay, so sorry about the hard breathing. All right, I made two contacts, super happy about that. And those were pretty much the two I tried for. I called CQ like three times. Nobody came back, but I didn't try that hard. I just wanna make a couple contacts, make sure it works, got a signal report. And I'm happy, dude. Uh, this is a tough environment, really tough. Uh, and I'm out of shape. And this, I'm gonna end up with about, well, that says 1.31 so far. And I didn't turn it on until half a mile, so I'm going to end up with like two and a half miles of hiking with a 15, 20 pound bag. I could, I could lighten that up, but it's not that big a deal. So much fun, man. It's my ultimate types of operation. The only problem with it is, is it's very uncomfortable. Sitting on rocks and stuff is hard. You should bring a little chair. That's only a little chair. All right. Thanks for joining me, folks.